Hey everybody, Sam here and welcome back to Granaker Homestead. This is day one of our roof over project where we are adding a new roof to our 1988 Palm Harbor single wide mobile home that will eventually give us overhangs, eaves, and gutters where we had none to begin with. This video covers day one of our work and as such is going to be one of many in this video library. Be sure to look down below for the link to the full video playlist that'll cover this whole project start to finish. Before we jump in, I need to make this disclaimer. In case you didn't know, I am not a professional mobile home roofologist. I don't have a degree in roofology and I'm not someone you want to be following the advice of step by step to replicate this on your home. Yep, that's a disclaimer. What we are showing you is what we are doing with our house. We feel confident in what we're doing with our home here in our area. That being said though, you need to do your own research on what you can do, should do, are allowed to do, can do, don't do, whatever do in your area. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go. All right, the first thing I'm doing up here is going along the length of the house and measuring up from the edge 36 inches. What that's going to do is allow me to then come back and snap a chalk line the length of the house right at 36 inches and then put the plywood against that and let it overhang by a foot. I've measured the roof and we have less than an eight foot span roof per peak side. So this is going to work out really good with just having two layers of plywood up here. I marked 36 inches about four places along the whole roof. That way I have a couple of reference points and don't just trust two measurements and then let the line kind of sag here and there since I'm up here by myself. What I'm going to do next is tape one end of the chalk box here to the roof, go down about where the ladder is, where I've got my other mark, pull it tight and snap a line, roll it up, go down there, do it again, and I may have to do it about three or four times to get the whole roof done, but I'm going to go ahead and snap my chalk line first, which is the reference point for the plywood. There's one solution when you're working by yourself, you gotta have help. And if it can't be people, you gotta have duct tape. All right, my chalk line is done. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. And if I have any questions as I go along laying the plywood down, I can always stop and measure and go from there. This doesn't have to be dead on. So it's good enough for this roof and for me. The next thing I'm gonna do, since I'm here at this end of the house, and this is where the first piece is gonna go, is I wanna go ahead and measure for at least the foot overhang on this end, and then find wherever it ends up on a truss or roof rafter and measure that so that I know to cut my plywood at that length in case it's less than eight feet or something otherwise. I do wanna try my best to make sure all these sheets of plywood, the joints are over top of the rafters or trusses. It's the same thing. I'm gonna say either one all day today, so whatever. 
So we'll go ahead and measure and find my first dimension. Maybe also check the others. Uh, this roof feels like it's 24 inch on center trusses. So maybe I'll really get lucky that after I cut this first one, it's just eight footers all the way down. That would be so nice. So let's go ahead and measure and get down off the roof and cut the first piece. We got our first sheet of plywood up and that was a little bit of a nightmare. We got to figure out a better system for carrying it up. Going up the ladder, pushing up the plywood ahead of me, flipping it over. That was too close call of something bad happening. So we at least got the one sheet up. We got to figure out what we're going to do with the rest. We're thinking we might throw them up on the porch roof and then from there I can pull them up. At least that's more of a two-step setup. So let's go ahead and get the first sheet of plywood down. This is the first one and it'll be the most critical and hey, after that we'll just start rocking and rolling, right? Hope so. Check it out. First sheet of plywood on. A little nerve wracking. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be as far as, you know, woo -woo factor up on the roof. I think I'm getting more comfortable up here. But first sheet down, most critical. Now it's, you know, easy peasy, one, two, three easy as we haul plywood over. We're going to go here and just do, 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 all the way down. Uh, so our plan right now is one, taking up the ladder was way too hard. Two, Angela's dying. She carried that whole sheet herself, which Ah, oh, rock on, but that's really heavy. So I'm gonna go down and help her carry some plywood sheets back and forth, back and forth to stage them right here on top of, or at the back porch roof. And then we'll pull them up from there. That'll be an okay staging area. So that's the plan. We'll see if we can get her done. Yeah. Flash through the air with the greatest of ease that high flying men on the flying trapeze. only managed to get three sheets up there yes, so far I'm beginning to think I'm over my head I'm gonna take a break cool off and gather my thoughts all right I'm back up on the roof here different shirt different hat because my goodness sweating city I also pulled some strings got Josh here he's coming up to save the day I, I, I'll be honest guys I called a contractor I was like how much you guys charge to do a roof I was at the end of my rope 
Josh came over, we've assessed the situation, and think we can just push on and keep on going through with it. So, let's go. are rocking and rolling super fast with Josh out here helping and this is so nice Whew. truth be told guys after we did those first three sheets I went down about to have a heat stroke but went down there and uh, called contractor said your roofers available I'll write you a blank check and Josh texted me out of the blue you know he didn't know what was going on he's like I'm bored what's up told him the story he showed up like a rock star and uh, yeah we're gonna be able to get this done so, I gotta break it to the contractors. They're not gonna get my money, but that's okay. We'll figure that out later. We are over halfway done with the first run. So, more than 25% of the way done with this part of the roof. We're gonna do one more sheet and we're gonna go down and take a break because honestly, there's no point in killing ourselves. We're making great time and uh, that's just what we're doing. chip of a piece of plywood, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, 
my face is red. Um, <laughs> wow, yeah. It might be sunburn. Maybe this roof has reflected a lot on me, but um, I'm thinking it's just heat. So as you can see, Elijah is up here. He's sitting, he's very safe, don't worry. He wanted to get up here right as we called it quits, so I let him come up. Uh, Josh is already headed back home. We, um, as you can see, not done. There's still plywood down there we gotta put down and there's no underlayment on this, but we are going to have faith that the weather is correct and we're not gonna get any rain. So we're gonna leave it and we will pick back up on this tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna walk on down this way, let you guys see the pipe boot sticking out from the roof. I was really happy with how this one turned out. We will get that a really nice tight circle cut. We'll come back and finish that one, but it's good enough for now. Here's a look at the overhang. This is not the final overhang. I'm gonna come back and trim all this whenever it's all said and done. It's just a look of the overhang. And there is Elijah. <laughs> He's been wanting to get up here all day, but I told him, no, no, no. I let him up here at the last second though. So it looks like we have one, two, three, four, maybe five more sheets of plywood to do before we're done with this side. Um, it's going good, all things considered. We had some issues down here with alignment, and honestly, this really started, this is my fault. So down here where you see the gaps, and they're bad looking, this is where these sheets I put on by myself, and they were not right. Once Josh got here, we started correcting the issue and tweaked it back online and got everything fixed. I'm not worried about the gaps with here between the sheets of plywood because we're going to be doing a metal roof and it has no problem spanning that. It's only maybe inch and a half. That being said, I am probably am also going to rip some small strips of wood and fill it in here. Um, if I don't get to rip strips and fill it in like I'm thinking I might do, it's still okay. It's not going to be any kind of problem or anything that I think will translate through with the metal roof that we're going to put on. Here's a little bit of gap up here. You can see we're trying to correct our issues. And when we got back down here, this is really where it was, you know, two-man team versus one-man team. This is good, straight, and really looks nice. So I um, feel good about us here forward. We're going to have this looking nice. So I guess that's the reason you start on the back side, farthest away from where you may ever see when you start a roof. And you want to finish with the good side. Well guys, honestly, we got a ton of work done on our first day. Not as much as I was originally hoping we would get done, but after those first few sheets of plywood, I was figuring the project was done before it really got any starts. So super big kudos and thanks to Josh for coming over and helping me to motivate and refocus and stay driven on the goal, as well as doing a lot of critical thinking with me, going through different hurdles and challenges and obstacles. Big thanks. If you're not familiar with Josh, he's my brother, and he has his own YouTube channel. There's a link to his channel down below. He does similar type of content as far as do-it-yourself building. However, he is doing very, very different content. I think you'll enjoy it if you like seeing people use their minds and be creative and work with what they've got and really just do their own thing. So, it would mean a lot to me, and I know it would mean a lot to him and his wife if you go check out their channel. and thanks ahead of time. Well, that's it for day one. Hopefully you guys are going to stick around because there is a lot more to come, as you see. Uh, we will watch the sky and make sure it doesn't rain tonight. Like I said earlier, we've got faith that it's not going to rain, so we'll be okay. But you've got to stick around for the second video to see how that pans out. We appreciate you all watching as always. We definitely appreciate the members, especially these here. You guys are really awesome. You really, truly do help us continue to make content and help support this channel. And we really, really appreciate it. We still appreciate all you other viewers, so don't think you've been excluded. Just want to give a special thank you to those who are able to go above and beyond for us. All right, guys, that's it. I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.